Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here are some slow burn romances. This is actually my first time making a slow burn romance rec video, which is very surprising for me because I love slow burn romances, or at least I think I do, but I sometimes I think will pick up like a Cassie Mint or Jessica Kane like quick novella that has like insta love in it because I'm impatient. <laughs> so these are 10 romances that have slow burn in them that I think are worth the slow burn. They're worth the wait. So first I think I'm gonna talk about some fantasy ones that I really love that are slow burn to the max, but it's so good. Bounce the Battle God by Ruby Dixon. Look at this chunky monkey book. Book number two also is slow burn, but I just wanna talk about one book today. Um, so Bounce the Battle God. If you have not read this series yet by Ruby Dixon, you need to. It is fantasy. Like these are fantasy books. So each book in this series is about a heroine from our world getting sucked into this fantasy realm where there are gods, if you will. I don't remember like what they're called, but they're gods. And their version of Zeus, so the dad of all the gods, is kind of like PO'd at them and decides to cast them onto the mortal plane. And the only way they can stay on the mortal plane of this fantasy world is to anchor themselves to a mortal who can like sleep for them, eat for them, do all these things for them, right? Because they're gods themselves, they can't do that. So they just have a physical form and they need a human to anchor them. So our heroine gets sucked into this fantasy realm and she ends up getting bound to our battle god here. His name is Aaron, Aaron the Cleaver, and he is so vain he is so grumpy he like is so entitled and this woman gets on his nerves to no end and he gets on her nerve like it is definitely like bickering i don't like you but we have to be together because if you get far away from your anchor both of you like are in immense pain like they've already tried to get away from each other and she almost died so <laughs> Um, I love this book so much and I need more people to read this series like please do it's so good It's slow burn to the max because it isn't until at least maybe the halfway point that they even get an inkling of attraction for each other And it's so good because at the beginning is just banter and bickering and then the bickering turns into like oh like flirtatious bickering <laughs> So it's so stinking fun. I love our heroine and our hero together and also like the quest that they have to go on um because uh, there's a certain quest they have to fill in order to her for her to go back home she's like i'm trying to get back home help me and so he's like if you help me with this i'll take you home um and so like the quest they're going on is actually really entertaining as well so i love this fantasy book more people need to read it please next i have Radiance by Grace Draven. This is the first book in her Wraith King series. This is the romance between Ildico and Brishan. They come from two different peoples in this fantasy realm. She's obviously like a human woman and he is a Kai, which is they're humanoid creatures, but they have gray skin, yellow eyes. Um, they have sharp teeth and claws. So there's like, those are the main differences between them and their peoples don't mix like at all. They're both spares so their kingdoms and their families kind of want an alliance. So they get put in an arranged marriage. At first, they're not the happiest about this because they're like, I don't know who this person is. Um, but then they actually become grateful that they're marrying each other because they come fast friends. And then their friendship very slowly turns into love between the two. And it is beautiful. Like at the beginning of the story, you read about like the two of them thinking the other person is so ugly. <laughs> they're like, I mean, you're not the prettiest to look at, but at least you're nice kind of thing. And then by the end of the book, like they think that the other person is the most stunning creature in the entire world. Like I love when that happens. So I love this book so much and I love seeing the slow progression of them falling in love in here. I also wanna to mention too, if you're more of a character driven reader, you will love this book, um, but it's, it's basically very character driven. There's not a lot of other outside plot going on in here. There is in book number two, so, um, which is also about them, so. I mean like book number one is very character driven, but then book number two, you get more action. Next is Pestilence by Laura Thalassa. This one is the first book in the um, Four Horsemen series. So you have Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse that have been cast onto earth to cause the apocalypse. So first is Pestilence. He's the first one up. The heroine of the story is a human woman and who lives on earth and she wants to end this. So she decides to kill Pestilence. She ends up doing it. And she's like, oh my gosh, yes, I finally did it. She doesn't know though that Pestilence cannot die. Like he just regenerates. And when he regenerates, he is out for vengeance. He ends up kidnapping this woman for killing him. And it's gonna make her suffer and pay for what she did to him. She gets put 
on his horse is being dragged by his horse throughout the whole entire country and she is gonna watch him kill her people like kill them this one is one of the most enemies to enemies lovers that i've ever read about ever like full-blown enemies to lovers so if you want enemies to lovers you need to pick this up if you have not yet their romance is definitely slow burn because <laughs> they absolutely hate each other at the beginning like they despise one another throughout the book the heroine realizes she's starting to have feelings for this guy but she's like he's killing people how can i fall for this man who's killing people like what is wrong with me so she is definitely grappling with her feelings and the point in which these two get together is like far into this book so i feel like this is definitely a slow burn romance next is oh i just recently got this book for christmas from zay and i can't stop staring at it it's so pretty okay so this is wolf song by tj clune the first book in the green creek series this one is slow burn because of reasons in this book there's like an age gap in here so there are reasons why this book is slow burn okay so this is the romance between ox and joe so ox is uh, i think a teenager maybe like 18 16 um when this book starts out and he doesn't have the best home life um and he doesn't have a lot of friends one day when he's walking home i think from school this like 10 year old boy comes across him and immediately just starts talking his ear off and drags him to his family house to meet his whole family he's like you gotta be my family like you're my new best friend and so he ends up meeting joe that's the boy joe's whole family little does ox know that they are a family of werewolves joe is apparently his mate and ox doesn't know about werewolves and stuff he's a human man so like he doesn't know what's going on so this is the romance actually between joe that 10 year old boy and ox obviously not at that point this book like t jumps in timelines and like by the time they're like romantically together joe is above legal age just wanted to say that but it starts out with them being young and they have this like connection friendship connection at the beginning and you get to see their like feelings slowly develop throughout the years and i love the point when ox like <laughs> the point when ox looks at joe i think when joe's maybe like 17 or something and he looks at him and he's like oh no i i think i'm attracted to him oh no and he's like getting all flustered and blushing he doesn't know what to do he's like i feel so bad i've never felt <laughs> this way about my friend before and like it's definitely slow burn and i also just love the whole found family aspect in here it's beautiful so if you want like a werewolf shifter paranormal romance definitely pick this one up if you're wanting an alien romance i have hearts prisoner by olivia riley the heroine of the story is a scientist and she is known for studying like anomalies and um aliens specifically she has been sent to this space station where they keep like very dangerous aliens to study and to like like to know what's going on she learns a little bit more when she's at the space station but she quickly realizes like this is basically like a prison i did not sign up for this this is like a prison but anyway she ends up being assigned to study the most dangerous alien of them all on this space station to kind of get to know him know what he wants from humans like she wants to befriend this alien man and get to know him more and learn more about him and his people. So their romance is definitely slow burn also because they get to know each other through basically like glass. There's like a little like opening for like food to go in or whatever. But other than that, like they just talk through a glass. There is one point where there's no more glass between them, but I don't want to spoil that for you. But I feel like it is slow burn because the two of them get to know each other through this barrier between the two. And um, they even start falling for each other when that barrier is still in place. So I really enjoyed this one. If you want an alien romance read, please pick this one up. Now we're getting on to contemporary ones that I really enjoyed. This one's Marriage for One by Ella Mays. If you are a slow burn girly, you've probably already heard about this book. This is the romance between Jack and Rose. Yes, like the Titanic, Jack and Rose. Rose really wants to open up a coffee shop in town in this town and jack ends up catching wind of this and offers her like i will help fund and get your business started if you agree to marry me in exchange like we don't know why jack wants to marry her rose doesn't even know why jack wants to marry her but she's like i really want to fulfill my dream and if the only way to do this is by marrying this man i guess that's what i'm gonna have to do um, so they get married with barely knowing one another and Rose is just trying to get her business started while also having a husband she 
doesn't know like at all. He's very gruff and grumpy, but there's like this soft side to him. I really enjoyed this one. This is one of the first books that got me kind of like into the contemporary romance genre. So I really appreciate this book for that. But I definitely think people need to read this one if they haven't and they love slow burn because this is one of the most iconic slow burn romances to me. Next is Just a Heartbeat Away by Cara Bastone. This one is about Sebastian and Via. There's a little bit of an age gap in here. I think Via's in her 20s and Sebastian's in his 40s. He's actually a widowed single father. And she was actually his son's kindergarten teacher when he was in kindergarten. It's now been a few years later. They haven't seen each other in a few years. Um, and then she ends up becoming a school counselor in a different school. And it just so happens to be the school that Sebastian's son goes to. And they bump into each other like all these years later. It's their romance, obviously. Um, and the two of them don't really know what to do because they start having these feelings for each other. Like Via thinks that Sebastian won't give her the time of day because he's this awesome dad who's older than her, but does she want to be in his life and in his son's life? And Sebastian thinks that Via won't ever want him because he's, she, he's this old man who has a kid. He's like, she'll never want me. Like she's in her 20s. She needs to go out, be doing things, traveling, partying, hanging out with people, having boyfriends. Like she needs to go do all these things, but little does he know that via just wants him and his son like she wants that life this one is so slow burn because look at my i have proof i have tabs so this was back when i only put tabs next to like kissing scenes or romantic love scenes whatever the case may be i put tabs next to those because those are my favorite parts to read okay um and look where the tabs are they're like all the way at the end <laughs> they're like it starts on page like 300 and there's like 400 close to 400 pages right <laughs> so you have like 300 pages of like tension okay between these two next is the co-op by tara dewitt this is a second chance very much animosity to lovers romance are two people in this couple um their grandmothers were best friends and they owned this house together both grandmas are now gone they're not with them anymore but when they died in their will they ended up giving part of the house so half the house to their respective grandchildren so the heroine owns half the house and the hero owns half the house and they don't get along. They have nowhere else to stay though, like to live. And so they have to live in this rundown house together and they end up having to fix it up together as well. And I think they also have to get married in order to like share the earning of the house or something like that. I don't remember, but I think they have to get married as well. Um, but they have like a little rendezvous summer together as teenagers and that whole experience kind of blew up in their face and they don't really like the other person ever since then but i really love this one it's so slow burn because they really do not like each other at the beginning of the story next i have dukes and deeks by tori jean this looks historical but it's not they're like dressed up as jane austen characters okay so our hero and heroine um they're like best friends he's actually her brother's best friend but they're also best friends as well um she uh, runs this Jane Austen festival in their small town and there are two characters who to play Whittia Whittia that's their ship name <laughs> to play Lydia and Wicca <laughs> um have kind of like run off together and got married themselves and so she's down for the count with two people to play them and so the hero kind of steps up he's like I think I could help you let me play this Wickham guy um so she plays Lydia and this is kind of like the perfect opportunity for them to like experience what being together would be like because they have to play these characters. Hero is also a hockey player, so there's that. There's awesome endometriosis representation. The heroine in here is going through an endo diagnosis, so triggering here for medical gaslighting. Okay, um, but it is own voices representation, so I really appreciated that in here. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this one. It's very slow burn um, because the two of them like are like kind of like denying their feelings. For like the whole book <laughs> and the last one that i have to recommend today is teach me by olivia dade this is an older couple romance i think both characters are in their late 40s which i know is not old but most romances you read the characters are in their like 20s you know what i mean so this is an older couple compared to other romances that are out there right now our two characters are high school teachers the heroine's been teaching um history for quite a while at this high school and this new guy comes to teach some history classes as well but he ends up taking some of the classes she loves to teach and she's very upset about this she's like i love those classes i can't believe they got taken away from me and the hero doesn't know that they were taken away from her like he was just told these are the classes you're teaching now and so she doesn't really like him and she's not afraid to show it when he starts. Um, so he takes a few weeks to try and like befriend her because he's actually also like very intrigued by her, wants to get her to know her more. 
um, and loves the way that she teaches. So he's like, I think I want this woman in my life, but she hates me. Like what's going on? Um, so it's, it's their romance. It is slow burn because at the beginning, she just really does not like this guy. <laughs> um, and it takes a lot of convincing for her to even just like hear him out at one point. Um, that's just because she was really hurt by what happened. Um, cause there's also some other stuff going on as well, but I really enjoyed this one if you want to read about an older couple romance who are very mature even though she's a little bit upset about everything that happened and that her classes got taken away but they handled it like very mature adults so um yeah i really loved that aspect in this book anyways there you have it those are some slow burn romances for you let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me a turtle emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all